welcome to the final week of the Fox 6 High School Blitz. Three of our local teams vying for that coveted title of state champion on the final day of this state tournament here inside Camp Randall Stadium. Let's start in Division 3. The Pewaukee Pirates made their first state appearance in program history facing Rice Lake. The Pirates set sail early. It's Carson Hansen with a quarterback keeper and he's in for the one yard score. Pewaukee opens up with an 8-0 lead. In the fourth quarter, the Pirates trying to close this one out, and Hansen leaves no doubt. He rumbles in for the 26-yard touchdown, and that will do it. Pewaukee captures its first state title, winning 15 to six. A little numb, to be honest. Uh, the season's so long, and uh, you go through so many ups and downs throughout it, it's really difficult to put in words just the relief, but also the joy. So proud of these kids. They've been a special group their whole lives. They've accomplished incredible things. To be a part of this with them, for them, uh, I mean, it's everything. I, I, I can't really tell you how I feel because I've got every emotion in the book going through. Pewaukee even had some proud alumni cheering them on as the Watt brothers, JJ, TJ, and Derek gave the Pirates some love on hoisting a gold ball. Over in Division II, Homestead battled Wanakee, and the Highlanders were playing catch up in the second quarter. Down a score, here's Val Balistrieri with the quarterback keeper on the one yard touchdown to tie the game at seven. Down 20 to seven at the half, Balistrieri completes the hat trick for Homestead in the third. First, he's in for the 15 yard score. Then in the final quarter, he finds Pater for the 11 yard TD, but Wanakee would prove too much as Homestead takes home the silver ball, falling 33 to 21. Our journey's been a heck of a journey. Nobody really had us being, being in this game to start the year in August. Very, very happy with the resiliency of the kids. And again today, chasing two scores to cut it to one score two different times. This group's just really been resilient, especially the last five, six weeks. Very proud of them. In our final game for the Division I crown, Franklin took on some prairie, and it didn't take long for Badgers commit Miles Burkett to make history. He'll find Reese Osgood for the 88-yard catch and run. Touchdown, Sabres. That pass play was the longest in any D1 state title game. Franklin up 10-3. The Sabres keep it rolling. Terrence Shelton rolls left, and he's in for the six-yard score. 17-3 Franklin. Later in the third, after a long Burkett run of the Cardinals won, Tanner Rivard punches it in, and Franklin takes takes a commanding 24-3 lead. After a Cardinals comeback, this will ice it. Burkett lofting it up for a wide open Osgood. That's a 30-yard TD, and Franklin wins their first Division I state title. Final score, 38-17. I mean, we knew we had, you know, with what happened last year and the COVID and all that stuff, um, it left a little bit of a bitter taste in our mouths, and the kids worked really hard in the offseason and knew we had a special group. You have to have a special group to play here, and. Uh, we just stayed the course. How ironic I get to come to Madison where I'm going to play and I get to, I get to bring these guys with me and we get to lead to the goal ball. So, you know, that's something you see in stories and movies, but you know, we just, we just ran a new story. <laughs> Congratulations to our six area teams on their trips to state and at the end of the day, championship trophies were hoisted and memories were made and that will do it for our coverage on the Fox 6 High School Sports Blitz. Thank you so much for tuning in all season long. From Camp Randall Stadium, I'm Lily Zhao. We'll see you next year.